we shop local here in the Madison area, which we always encourage, we often hear the term family business. But what exactly is a family business? Thankfully, we've got someone on the line who can help us define that. This is Rob Evans from Murphy Desmond. Hey, Rob, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me, Justin. Absolutely. Good to have you back. So, Rob, what exactly does family business mean? Justin, in a, in a general sense, all a family business means is that it's a business that is owned by a single family. That can be a business that was founded and originated by a family, or they could purchase an existing business to run as a family. There's no single size. You may be thinking that a family business may be a mom and pop store with a few employees, but they can range up to very large multinational corporations. As long as a single family maintains control of the business, it will be considered a family business. I think that might be the paradigm that some people have in their minds is that family business equals mom and pop, but that's not always the case. It can be a big international corporation, like you said. Um, what are the relationships within business ownership typically look like? Are they spouses? Are they children to parents? Are they um, you know, cousins? You know, what, are, what are the typical relationships look like there? Yeah, it, it's going to vary based on the business. There's no single correct way to start and have ownership in a family business. It could be a single family member starting it themselves then bringing in their spouses or children or siblings to be a part of the business. Or it could be a couple of family members getting together, realizing that they have a great business idea and want to start the business themselves together. It really depends on the nature of the business and the various expertise each family member can bring will determine how the relationships are played out. However, once you get multiple family members into the business, it's important to formalize those relationships. Yeah, and speaking of that, I mean, obviously form, uh, formalizing those relationships is important to avoid legal issues moving down the road. What are some of the common legal issues that can come up in a family business? Yeah, first and foremost, the family should be looking at the rules that they put in place for how they want to govern and run their business. If you don't have those rules in place, it could be difficult to manage the business properly. So first, you want to get either bylaws or an operating agreement put in place. Then you kind of want to start looking at the roles each family member are going to play. Um, so, some family members may want a hands-on day-to-day -day role. Well, some may want to take a more high level strategic role. And there are even gonna be some that just wanna make a financial investment and be considered a silent partner in the business. So you wanna make sure all those roles are defined within the documents that you're creating to avoid issues down the road. Additionally, you're gonna to wanna to look at financial issues such as profit sharing between the owners. And probably most importantly, you're gonna to wanna to look at succession and exit planning for the current owners. Now, some, some family members may want to move on to other opportunities outside of the business, or they may be looking to retire at some point. You're going to want to put a plan in place to move the business on to the next family members, uh, the next generation smoothly so that there's no issues down the road for the business. Yeah, and what are some things that lawyers can do to just make sure that the family business is buttoned up and they avoid as many of those issues as possible in the future? Having a good lawyer can help a, a family business in a lot of ways. First, we can help you draft those governing documents. I was talking about the bylaws, the operating agreements, so that you have everything written down clearly and concisely and can look to that to help you resolve any potential disputes. We can also help you organize regular meetings between the owners so things keep moving smoothly. If the business involves real estate, we can help make sure that you're managing that real estate properly. If there's employment, if you're bringing on employees, we can help you put employees in employment issues in place to help make sure that everything is handled smoothly there. And if you have intellectual property like trademarks or copyrights, we can help you make sure that that information is protected as well. Yeah, some people, when they go, go into business with family members or people that are close to them, they think, oh, we're cool. There's no need to put anything on paper. We'll just have a handshake agreement. But I bet you more often than not, you've seen cases where, where that's the case and there are legal issues down the road. Am I right? 
Absolutely. The, it, it's in my experience that there's going to be a lot more issues if you don't have things spelled out clearly than when you do. We got about 20 seconds left, Rob, but anything you want to add before we head to break? In my experience, no business can be put on autopilot. There can be issues that pop up at any time. So you're going to need to have business owners who are going to be engaged and maintain uh, proper vigilance when it comes to running their business. And having a lawyer who specializes in either business or corporate law can help those business owners, especially in a family business, make sure that their business runs smoothly. And that's something we do here at Murphy Desmond all the time. All right. All very good advice. Rob Evans from Murphy Desmond, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Don't go away. There's more after the break. Stick around.